Well, the party of godlessness is taking their extremism up a few notches to the point you can no longer be neutral. Just a handful of things liberal Democrats have supported in recent weeks include infanticide, anti-Semitism, environmentalism, illegal immigration, transgender surgeries, the LGBTQ agenda, legalizing prostitution, we'll get to that in a minute, and of course, socialism. It's clearly all about power. Their goal is big government control and one-party rule in America. Karl Marx would be proud because the revolution can only advance by doing away with God and Christianity, families, natural marriage, religious freedom, work incentive, and private property. It's all about the people, they say. Nancy Pelosi said Democrats are doing God's work. They say Republicans and Christians are the ones who are bigoted, intolerant, and racist. But before we get to the slippery slope of socialism, we should call out immorality for what it is. 2020 Democrat presidential candidate Senator Kamala Harris recently said she would decriminalize prostitution based on consent. Take a look. When you're talking about consenting adults, I think that, you know, yes, we should really consider that we can't criminalize consensual behavior as long as no one is being harmed. But wouldn't that lead to more sexual abuse and less protection for victims of violence? Next, you already know about Democrats in New York voting to legalize infanticide, the murder of a living baby, even up through the delivery process. But the party of death also voted against providing medical care or protections to a baby born alive in the case of a botched abortion. Think about this. A living, suffering human baby is placed on a table in pain and crying and is left to die. They wouldn't do that to a puppy or a kitten or a fish. Condemning the liberal mindset that defends animal life over human life, CEO of MyPillow.com, Mike Lindell, said this last week at CPAC, quote, I see a party saving minnows in California and killing babies in New York. Are you kidding me? Well, did you know that on Friday, House Democrats voted in favor of illegal immigrants voting in U.S. elections? The key word here is illegal. This is no longer your great-grandparents' Democrat Party. Texas Republican and American vet Dan Crenshaw asked, quote, what kind of government would cancel the vote of its own citizens and replace it with non-citizens? He later tweeted this, quote, today I offered a motion to recommit H.R. 1, reaffirming that only U.S. citizens should have the right to vote. Dems rejected it. Next time you go to the ballot box, keep that in mind. The future of their party is in cities like San Fran, where illegals can vote. Let that sink in. Prior to Democrats regaining power in the U.S. House, Nancy Pelosi promised to work hard for the LGBTQ lobby, for non-citizens wanting to cross our borders, for women wanting abortions, and for those wanting to protect the environment. Then there's Cory Booker, who grilled a judicial nominee and asked if she actually believed LGBT relationships are a sin. But lots of headlines come from the 29-year-old college grad and bartender from New York, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. AOC recently said she's so worried about the environment and the planet, she wonders if it's still okay for people to have babies. She also just called for the U.S. to end its relationship with Israel. Her radical socialist policies should be concerning. The Green New Deal, she introduced, would cost trillions, and she doesn't even seem to care or understand how we'd pay for it. Writing about Democrat radicalism, Washington Times contributor Robert Knight stated, but she's the new face of the Democratic Party's plunge into outright socialism. All six of the major contenders for the Democratic presidential nomination have endorsed her sweeping Green New Deal. He added that, its promises of guaranteed income equality, free medical care, free college tuition, state ownership of the means of production, confiscation of private property, central planning, and a one-party system inevitably result in coercion and violence. Well, I agree that socialism violates the laws of nature and nature's God, and the progressive worldview begins with a false idea that we're not really created in God's image, and we're merely products of random events. 
The sexual revolution was part and parcel of the socialist thought in the 19th century, just as it's a driving force in the Democratic Party today, which pushes LGBTQ sexual anarchy and, of course, abortion. A consistent feature of the revolution is that the ends justify the means. So, lies are fine as long as people keep falling for them. For Christians who believe the Bible is true, or anyone else who does, if you vote for policies that go against God's teachings and biblical morality, it might be time to re-examine your priorities, your values, and even your faith. I'm David Fiorazzo. God bless you and keep speaking the truth about things that matter.